a very explosive player, um, hard working. Everyone looked up to him. He's a huge talent, he's a, he's a monster. Number six, Harrison Kelly. Number seven, Aaron Wainwright. First sporting recollection as a child be playing uh, mini football in Riska, at um, Riska Leisure Centre. Um, I used to go on a Saturday morning, I think, and just play, like, I don't know what it was, but it's football. So I got uh, a chance to have a trial at the academy. Uh, I think it was, <coughs> I was in uh, end of under nine, start of under tens, and I didn't get in the first time. And then I had another trial a couple of months later, and I got in then. When I didn't get con offered a contract at Cardiff, I was like 16, um, and I was actually really disappointed I didn't get, didn't get offered anything. We had to sit down, and they said, like, we're not going to offer you anything, so you have to like look elsewhere. And like, it was almost like shock, I guess, because you've been playing football, like, I'd been playing like seven, eight years, and then they're telling you, oh, like, the club you've been at for so long, I'm not going to offer you, like, to stay on. It kind of like, gutted in, in a sense, so I didn't know whether to, like cry or like just like I, I was quite sad so I just walked off. So like I've always like wanted to win, like I haven't I haven't ever liked to lose and like football sort of gives you a competitive edge. My friends from school, Dan Rees, Miles Harding, uh Jacob Proctor, uh Lewis David, you know, just like a couple of names. Um we were like down playing youth rugby at Whiteheads, uh asked me to go down and train. Uh, so I went down one of the evenings, uh, met the coaches, Geezer and Ty, who gave me a nice warm welcome, and said, just train um, and then play, play on Saturdays. So this is White Dead's RFC. Really enjoyed coming down and playing and then going back into the clubhouse on a Saturday and just chilling out with my mates. Had a lot of good games down here, home and away. Well, yes, I, I do remember Aaron, actually. Um, I remember the first training session he ever turned up and obviously he came here because he was in school with his mates and they, all his schoolmates were down here playing. I asked him to come down. Um, I knew he'd sort of finish with Cardiff football, so I thought he got the physique or whatever to come down and have a game for us and paid dividends. He seemed to take it like duck the water from the very first game he played. I like thinking back to like my first game. I was really nervous coming on actually, because um, I first rugby game with all your mates, people watching on the sidelines, and like luckily I, I went on and scored. Things like that, you look back on and think how much of a big impact they have like throughout throughout your career. My fellow coach Geezer nicknamed him the Smash. Then he, every time he picked the ball and run, he would smash you at least three or four people before he was tackled. So to us, probably yeah, uh, Aaron the Smash. Everyone looked up to him, and the way he was playing, the boys wanted to win for him. I started playing sevens for school uh, in the first year of sixth form. Coach was really nice. Um, to start off with, we had Justin Thomas, um, who was like the head of PE, and he was like the main main rugby coach there. And then in the second year, uh, Gwesson Price Jones took over as a development officer for the rugby, and then I started playing back row then. Hi mate, how are you? Long time. You know, are you all right, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Yeah, good. Thanks. His worth ethic was massive. Obviously, coming from a football football academy background, work ethics driven into you at that age. As if you, if you're not working hard, you're not going to achieve anything within professional football. Yeah, my first recollection of uh, Aaron was uh, in year seven. I remember coming in um, the first week of September. Straight away, he made an impression that um, he was one of the fittest boys in year seven, and he showed a great attitude. So we we said, "Oh, can come along and have a game of rugby." Um, see if you enjoy it and he started to play with the uh, the seniors uh, and he really enjoyed it and I think straight away you could see that he had the potential to become a, a top class rugby player. We've, we were saying in Wales you're either a rock or a sponge and a rock is somebody who doesn't take on that advice and thinks they, they know better and Aaron was definitely one of those type of players who were a sponge and would soak up all the the, um, the advice we were giving him and he, he and took that on board really quickly. Um, I think his, his, his mental attitude towards, towards training and learning and Improving as, as a player is probably one of the best I've ever seen in the, in the school. Um, and I think that's why he's made so much progress. Transitioning from academy to seniors has been quite hard at times because I'm like fairly new to rugby. But like a lot of 
the boys up there are really welcoming. And when I first went up, they like helped me find my feet in a sense. Um, and my first involvement, I had to run back and get the ball from a, from a kick. And I was like, it was my first touch of a ball in a pro game, so I was like really nervous. Uh, but the coaches and like friends and family are saying, just do what you normally do and play how you normally play, um, and you should be fine. And then when I went on, uh, I picked the ball up, and as soon as I had my first carry, I was fine then. I just really enjoyed it. When Bernard first came in, um, everyone really like bought into his philosophy and what he's trying to set out to do. And hopefully next season will be better um, with the things that he's put in place. But I've really enjoyed working with him so far this season. I think that we are going in the right direction as a region. Aaron, Aaron definitely deserves his contract, and you know we hope it's the first of many contracts with Dragons. You know, if you picked a, a surprise player of the of the tournament across the whole, um, he would be one of the, the the names everyone talks about. So um, it's been a big first season for him, um, and we, we believe there's more potential left to, to try and tap into and, and try and explore there. If you look at the Welsh squad during the Six Nations in terms of the back row. Incredibly competitive. Farron keeps keeps developing the way he is. He, he certainly could be. He certainly has the physical attributes to be a, an international player. I think the Welsh management will have a look at him at some stage. It's just when and an opportunity with rugby. It's, a lot of the time, it's the it's timing, and it's about taking that opportunity, which he has done for the Dragons, and hopefully he will get that opportunity for Wales. Obviously, he's been playing extremely well for the Dragons. He wouldn't be involved in almost every single match day uh, squad there's been this season if you weren't highly thought of, especially being 19, 20 years old, by the the regional managers. Um, the head coach, Bernard Jackman, obviously has a lot of faith in him, otherwise he wouldn't be putting him in that position. I think he's got a very good chance of having a cap. Um, got to say, I was slightly disappointed he wasn't named in the Six Nations squad. You know, there's no reason why you couldn't go a bit further in Wales. There's the Lions tours coming up um, in the next three years. That might be a little bit too soon, but after that, I, I don't see why in the progression he's made in well, three years since he really started playing rugby, why that someone of his calibre, like uh, intellect and, and also work ethic, couldn't possibly reach the echelons of going on a Lions tour to South Africa, Australia and possibly New Zealand in another th 11 years' time. I want to try and stay here as long as, long as possible, um, especially with Burnley coming in. I think next year and the seasons after are going to be positive for the region. And then hopefully, as I said, push on and try and aim for Wales Caps and see, see if I can achieve, achieve that. Yeah.